Hi, my name is Robbie Ching. The presentation today is Modifying the Template for English Learners. I've written this resource to help you discover ways to help English learners benefit from the ERWC modules, specifically your English learners that are at the expanding and bridging levels. I begin by suggesting ways to apply best practices. These are practices that are valuable for all students, but particularly essential for English learners. First off, beginning with backward mapping so that you figure out what are the skills and the abilities you want your students to have by the end of the year and planning how you're going to help them reach them. Balancing linguistic skills, being sure that you address not only academic reading and writing skills, but also academic oral English. The gradual release of responsibility so that your students move from dependence on you to being able to work independently. And finally, formative and summative assessment, so both you and they know where they are in their development of academic language. I provide suggestions for using expository reading and writing texts. For example, you may wish to select shorter and less complex texts in a module. Uh, in the juvenile justice module, you might use Margie Lundstrom's Kids or Kids instead of Gail Geringer's more challenging text. You'll probably want to teach just part of a longer text. For example, Chris Jones' article about Roger Ebert in the um, Value of Life module has two versions, a longer one and one that's been modified um, that will be more appropriate for English learners. You'll want to identify problematic words and phrases and provide support for your students. Perhaps you'll want to put glosses in the margin of the text so that they don't have to constantly be looking words up in a dictionary. Finally, you'll want to teach strategies for students to build background knowledge. For example, here's a good place to use Wikipedia and Google Images. And you'll want them to draw on knowledge that they bring with them. One strategy is to modify texts. In this original sentence from Bob Ebert's Jim Crow Policing in the Racial Profiling module, there's difficult vocabulary and also a difficult language structure, not only but. In the modified version, I simplified the vocabulary and I got rid of that difficult construction and substituted a when clause. However, a word of warning, students ultimately have to be able to read complex texts themselves, so that you want to use this as a strategy for transitioning them, either by asking them to read the modified version first and understand the structure of the text and the concepts and then move on to the more uh, difficult original text or beginning the year with modified texts and then transitioning to the originals. I've organized many of the suggestions in this resource by following the format of the ERWC template. For example, in understanding key vocabulary, I talk about how to focus on key words and teach dictionary strategies. In summarizing and responding, I provide suggestions for scaffolding, the instruction in how to develop a summary, and giving feedback using a rubric for summaries. In writing rhetorically, I provide suggestions for helping English learners understand the concept of plagiarism. As far as teaching grammar goes, I suggest that you model your instruction on the grammar instruction in the ERWC course beginning by focusing on the text that you're using so that you can provide text-based instruction, selecting grammatical features that are prominent in the text, and also the ones that are recommended in the ELD standards, then creating a sequence of activities, asking students to notice the feature in the text, giving them brief instruction, and then asking them to apply what they've learned in a series of activities and finally having them edit their own writing and the writing of other students. At all points, you'll want to be asking students to think rhetorically about language. I provide ideas for giving feedback. For example, there are rubrics for both writing and for oral academic language, uh, including one in modifying the template. Uh, I ask you to provide formative and summative assessment using the strategies that are incorporated into the modules of the ERWC course and help students develop metacognitive strategies to evaluate their own development. 
thinking about complex texts leads to the development of complex language skills. You'll want to have students thinking rhetorically about texts and the language in the text that they're reading. You'll want them to be writing engaging writing assignments and arguing about the same hot off the press topics as their peers. Thank you. I hope this resource will help you use the ERWC effectively with your English learners.